You're probably wondering who I am. I am a volcanologist, a scientist who studies volcanoes. Frogs, we are sad about volcanoes. We must know about the different layers of the Earth. The top layer of the Earth is called the crust. It's broken into puzzle-like pieces called tectonic plates. The crust is made out of rock and dirt. Below the crust is the mantle. Mantle is molten rock, also known as magma. It's just the thickest layer of the Earth. The center of the Earth is called the core. It is made of iron and nickel and is the same temperature as the surface of the sun. Volcanoes are created when the heat and magma from mantle escapes through a weak point in the crust that erupts out. You may be wondering what important parts a volcano has. It has a magma chamber, a main vent and a crater. It also has lava which erupts out and turns into igneous rock when it cools. Volcanoes also release ash, rocks and poisonous gas. Almost 90% of the Earth's volcanoes and earthquakes happen around the Ring of Fire, which is located in the Pacific Ocean. New Zealand is on part of the Ring of Fire. That's why we have a lot of volcanoes and earthquakes here. Whoa! There are three types of volcanoes, active, dormant and extinct. An active volcano shows signs of unrest or is currently erupting. White Island, Mount Rapehu and Mount Tongariro are some of New Zealand's active volcanoes. A dormant volcano is a sleeping volcano. That means it hasn't erupted in a while, but could still erupt again. Rangi Toto and Magadai Mountain are some of Auckland's dormant volcanoes. An extinct volcano is a volcano that will never ever erupt again, like the Dunedin <laughs> volcano that, erupt, that last erupted 11 million years ago. New Zealand has three different types of volcanoes, cone volcanoes, caldera volcanoes and volcanic fields. You're probably starting to wonder what to do if, vo if a volcano erupts near you. You need to be prepared before a volcano happens. Make sure that you know where active volcanoes are and whether they are likely to affect you. Luckily, Auckland has no active volcanoes. Have an evacuation plan and a survival kit in your house. Make sure you know where to go and how to get there. If a volcano does happen, keep all doors and windows shut. Listen to the radio for instructions. If you're told to evacuate, cover your face and mouth and take your good away items. Make sure that you stay together and most importantly, don't go sightseeing. After a volcano has happened, stay in a safe place, listen to the radio for information and only return home when you are told to. But there is no need to worry, New Zealand has a lot of trustworthy volcanologists like me who monitor volcanoes and will tell you way before they erupt if there is any danger, but you probably shouldn't trust this girl.